Eshalom, eshalom, all praise, hana ni nguri, etu Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Laka, Kadash, Edabana, Tuzelda, and Apostles of Great Mason, who do well, a peace, a blessing, a salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing this through the four ends of the heaven, a being on the forefront of this spiritual war, and to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise, a here on yes again, as in the days of old. So, Amen. It is another lesson. Uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man. You see, so in today's lesson, I'm going to talk about uh, levels of mess. Uh, there is levels to mess, man. You see, uh, when we consider uh, the nation of Israel, you see, not every individual has, has the same mess. You see, and that also goes into uh, one among the character of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. You see, uh, being racist, man. You see. You see. Uh, him being the king, uh, he prefer what he prefer. Yeah, you see. So, man, you have a uh, certain brothers in which is your mess is not your mess. You see. Uh, so, as uh, that being said, you see, the one forty four thousand mess is not uh, comparable to the uh, other Israelites. So you uh, you have the rest of the one said yes yeah, for they have their own levels of mercy. Uh, you have two said yes yeah, so two said uh, we receive mercy man. As they will come in the kingdom of heaven, you see uh, to rule together with uh, the first fruit uh, that is mercy man. Uh, that's how uh, that's what the scripture tell you man. You can't com- comprehend. It. The message of Yahaba Hashem Yahshai. The fact is that you are thinking, I have a lot of dudes who are thinking that you see, the wickedness to Sedi are doing, they deserve to burn in an eternal, eternal, eternal fire. You see, and they can't you see, come in terms with Yahaba Hashem Yahshai that the two said yes, so will be kings and a prince in the next rulership. They will be totally forgiven, man. The sin you want to be remembered. Uh, so, so you as a mortal man, you, see, you can't uh, come in terms with that concept of mercy. You can't come in terms with that uh, you see, uh, situation, man. And uh, you really think, you see, uh, to say they, they, they went even as far as to crucify uh, uh, the only begotten son of uh, uh, Yahweh. That is a capital offense, man. So they deserve to be cast in a lake of fire where they will burn forever, man, for eternity. But, hey, man, the scripture tells you the messes uh, of our king, Yahaba, Shemu, Shai, are incomparable, man. You see, that's why we give praise, honey, and glory to him, man. You see, you can't comprehend his mind. You see, so there is a segment and a, a compartment, you see, uh, when you talk about salvation, and the salvation goes hand in hand, we see as a message of Yahabah Hashem Yashai. So um, uh, salvation is compartmentalized. At the end of the day, uh, this uh, other nation, apart from Israel, they receive some kind of message. After the 1,000 years, they will go to their own land. That's, that's a mess, man. You see, the fact is that this other nation, apart from Israel, they won't be uh, obliterated like Israel. That's some, that's some form of mess. But there is levels to mess. And the highest level of mess, man, is the first uh, resurrection. If you can understand what I'm talking about, man, that goes to the one for twelve thousand and the rest of the one said. Those are the only people who will receive the highest mercy here on the planet. Yes. So let us think like this. You see, uh, since he, uh, man, you came to this earth, to this earth is the first time since the time uh, before the flood. They have been coming uh, through many incarnation. So how many sin have you committed? Let's not even talk about uh, your previous reincarnation. You see, you probably come somewhere in Africa where we don't know the Bible. You are doing child sacrifice, man. Or you were a priest on the left hand side. Who knows, man? 
But the scripture tells you that the spirit of a prophet is subject into a prophet. So a prophet can't come in an incarnation and start being a priest on the left hand side. You see, the Moshe is not the house of confusion. But amen, through your many incarnations, there are scenes in which you did which is, is, they can be described as a capital offense. It's a sin punishable by death. So just imagine, let's think like this. You will be forgiven. The sin you are doing now, you will be forgiven. See, I can't come with an explanation for that. So even, so let me read the Isaiah 40, 55, I started verse 6, say, Incline your ear and come unto me here, your soul shall live. And they'll make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. So the sure mercies of David are with his elect, man. No matter what they do, the elect will be forgiven. Behold, I have given him for a witness to a people, a leader and a commander to the people. Behold, so shall call a nation that is all noise not, a nation that <laughs> no not thee shall learn unto thee because of the Lord Haba Hashem shall thy power for the whole one of Israel, for he has glorified thee. Seek is the Lord Yahabah Hashem Ashai while he may may be found. Call ye upon him and uh, while he is near. Let the <coughs> wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man he is out, and let him return unto the Lord Yahabah Hashem Ashai, and he will have mercy upon him, and it to our power for he will abundantly. That's the point, for he will abundantly pardon. Now, this was going to the elect man. He will abundantly uh, pardon the elect. So their sin will be turned as white as the snow. Um, and that's going into that word, blameless. The elect will be a uh, found guiltless. Or she, uh, so the ongoing court session, because right now we are in the court session, man. The ongoing court session, at the end of this court session, the elect will be found unguilty. Through the mercies of Yahabah Hashem. That's the highest level of mercy. You see. And uh, the sin in which we have committed throughout our incarnation and the sin we are committing now, a normal person won't, if you do, you do these things, the things we are doing, if you do this to a normal person, and uh, he'll be like, man, man, you are sinning and unforgivable, you are supposed to be put to death. That's why you have people. Actually, you have people, this is not a far-fetched scenario, man. Uh, you have people who think that two said needed to be put in hell forever. You see? So, Yahaba Hashem, Yahashai, will forgive sin in which a man can't forgive you, man. That's why you have people, again, who accuse the elders and the apostles of the GMS, for the 2000 prophecy, which didn't come to pass anyway, <laughs> and we admit that it didn't come to pass, and they are saying they should be put to death. Why? Simply because they can't comprehend the message of Yahweh. So, so let us put this into perspective. And when you go back into the wilderness, you see what was going on in the wilderness that was. Spot on judgment. She spot if you do something wicked, you, you got put to death. It's a whole land, yes. So if you do something punishable by death, you got put to death. But during the time of Yahweh Shai, it's going to that uh, uh, woman uh, who, who committed the adultery. Let me go to that woman who committed the. Um, let me see. So this is the book of John, see, the book of John 18, verse 8, saying, The scribe when a Pharisee brought unto him a woman taken in Yadatale, in which Yadatale is as a sin punishable by death. See, let me look for my, 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 my recording. Say, when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in Yadatale, is a very acting. Now Moses in the law commanded the other such, such should be stony, but why say thee? What does this say? 
this is they said tempting him that they might have to accuse him but Yahweh shall stoop down and with his finger wrote on the ground although he heard them not. So when they continue asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you. Uh, see. So he that is without sin among So do you think that Yahweh he somehow you see uh, took lightly the law of, of his father Yahweh because this we are given we see we are given from Yahweh by Hashem Yahashai to his servant Moses man so, so do you think Yahweh Shai took lightly the laws of Yahweh by Hashem Yahashai no man some people think that it was not a convenience for the Jews to exercise their, their, their laws statutes and commandment during the rulership of the law man that's not the case. The same Jews, they asked the Roman to crucify Yahushai. So Jesus could have said to them, go and ask the Roman and stone this woman. So this was going into showing you men the last scene in which the Moshe is going to forgive us, in which when you put in a council in front of people, they say, hey, this nigga needs to be put to death. The same thing with our apostles, man. See? The very same concept which happened with Yahawashai. See, so people are saying that the apostles, they preached, they, they prophesied a false doctor, the false prophecy which did not come to pass according to our laws, they are supposed to be put to death. And which is that is in the law, the same thing with this adulterous woman. The same thing which we are back then, they are back. But they themselves, they don't look into their own, their own sin. They are also committing sin. They are not angels. A lot of sin which are punishable by death. So why not look on your sin first before you accuse somebody? That's not the point anyway of this lesson, but we are here to inform you, man. You see, <laughs> if you aren't just dead because we have committed something punishable by death, Lord willing, you are part of that number. The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, He will abundantly a pardon. You see? He will abundantly a, a pardon. You see? He is going to pardon the apostles. You see? That's going to the sure mercy of David. And this again, you see, must tell you something. This niggas, they don't understand the basic. You see? The basic concept of the scripture is mercy. Repentance, that's going to the messes, man, and righteousness of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. You can't be preaching the Bible in the street, you don't understand the concept of mercy. You can't be somebody holding a, holding a Bible, but in your heart you're thinking, this is nigger, because, just because a nigger did something, he stole your woman, see, just because a nigger stole your money somewhere, just because you have a deal with a certain nigger, and you think that any nigger need to be put you see, in your head, you're going burn forever. No, man. See? Let's go back to Isaiah and read carefully, man. Let's go back to Isaiah so that I, I, I have something to show you in Isaiah, man. Isaiah 55. And if you see, say, incline your ear. Why? Because you are going to be the next judge. You see? You see? You are a candidate. For being the next judge in the kingdom of heaven. So you need to incline your ear. If you can't understand the fundamentals of the scriptures. Which is going to the sure mercies of David. Why are you even teaching? You are not qualified to be a judge. So how shall I was a judge? That is an ultimate judge man. So. A wise judge or a wise king, he look into the matter. For you people who are accusing the elders and the apostles, that they, 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 they prophesy a false prophet back in the day. You need to go back. And I think a lot of you were, were even breastfeeding from your mama, sitting in your mama's coach. See, mama's changing your diaper. You need to go back in the day and, they, and they look at the situation. What was happening in one West before they spoke that prophecy. You are a wise king. You need to incline your ear. She come unto me. See, here and your soul shall live. 
See? 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 Behold, I have given him for a witness to a people, a leader and a commander to the people. Who is that? Man, that's Yahawasha. Yahawasha is an ultimate judge. So you need to learn from Yahawasha to have mercy. The same way Yahawasha is going to show mercy to you, you need to learn to show mercy. Show mercy to your brother. You need to learn to show mercy to to your Eve. You are you are rib. You are evil might do something, man, but in certain situations, man, the spirit might be talking to you, show some mess, man. You need to show mess to your father, your biological father, your, your biological mother. See, they did something wrong to you. You need to show mess. That's being a wise king. Nobody wrote a letter to the Lord to be one among the one forty four thousand. So that is a junction. Of mercy. When Yahawashai, he looked, let, let me, let me, see. let me, Yahawashai, let me see, Jesus wept. You see, Jesus, you see, he said, Yahawashai wept. See, Yahawashai, Yahawashai, he wept because them niggas, they like preface. So do you mean to tell me how I didn't know that the Moshe didn't uh, g- give them the, the gifts of faith? Do you mean to tell me how I didn't know that the faith is a gift? He knew. Why did he weep? See? So that's the dilemma between mercy and judgment. There is a balance there. How I say he was austere, but he wept. That's a balance there. So that's why we ent- we entitle Yahweh as, as the ultimate judge. So you need to have balance in judgment. See? So let me go and get another scripture. Man. This is this lesson. Wanna, the lesson is going. Is, you know, the lesson is like this. They need a lot of explanation, man. So this is a book of Jeremiah 3, and verse, I started with verse 12. Say, go and proclaim this word towards the north, and say, return not back, 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 riding easily. Says the Lord, Yahweh, I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful. Says the Lord, I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge the iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord, thy power, and has scattered thy, thy ways to the stranger and every green tree. You have not obeyed my voice, he says the Lord. Turn your back grind back sliding children, says the Lord Yahweh Shai, for I am merely unto you. So Yahweh Hashem Shai is showing mercy to his woman. All praise to Yahweh Hashem Shai. Bahashem Bakagandash, man. See? So the same way Yahweh Shai is showing mercy to you, you need to show mercy, man. See? So there is levels to mercy. Again, back, I will take you one of the city and two of the family and I will bring you to Zion again. See, and I will give you pastor, not only that, according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Not only the Lord will pardon your sin, but he will give you a gift of faith. He will give you an understanding on how to exercise wisdom in judgment. That's the reason who is a pastor, man. <laughs> See? A pastor is simply a judge. Who is a judge? In Israel, we have judges, man. Judges were responsible to look at the flock of Yahweh, Bashem, Yashai. The same thing we have judges right now. The apostles are judges. They judge matter in Israel. That's why we do a lot of rebuke over here, if you can understand that, man. Because a lot of niggas don't understand even this simple concept, man. See? So, let me go to Psalm 130. Really quick, Psalm 130, uh, verse 7. If I'm not mistaken, he said, Let Israel hope in the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai. For with the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, there is mercy. And with him, easy repentance, redemption. Not the only one, redemption. Printer's redemption, which will lead into that great redemption. 
pussy. The, 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 let me put it like this. The, the, the only reason you are breathing is because the Lord is showing what we call princess redemption. You see? You could have gotten the cancer, the Lord redeemed you from that, and you don't even know. You see? So this is small redemption here and there, the Lord, you could have had a car crash, the Lord uh, took you from that. See? Those are printers, printers. Let me see, printers redemption. So I have Ephesians here. Let me, I want to leave Ephesians, man. Let me, Ephesians 1, 16, let me read it. To the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he have made us accepted in the beloved in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. Levels of mercy, man. Highest level of mercy. You see, the elect will receive the first of everything, man. They will receive the highest level of mercy, that is which is the sure mercy of David. See, Isaiah 1, 16, he say, Wash you, make you clean, put away evil of your doing. From before my eye, is to do evil, learn to do well, seek judgment. That's what I was talking about. Learn to be a wise judge. They live the oppressed. So here Easter is oppressing our people, and you are here to oppress our people again. And here I'm talking about if you have a brother under you. See, you have a camp leader who are laying heavy burden on brothers, man. You are not supposed to be like that, man. Not supposed to be a demon. Judge the fatherless, man, the elect. Those are the fatherless. Plead to the widow. That's the, the nation of Israel, man. But right now it is the elect. Come on now and let us reason together. That's what wise judge do. We reason. We reason. We rebuke. And we collect. We judge matter in Israel. He says the Lord, you have Hashem Hashem. So we are seen in be a scarlet. Uh oh. <laughs> scarlet led beast. That's an inside joke. They shall be as white as the snow. Those they be led like crimson, they shall be as the wool, spotless. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. So all praise, honey and glory, and to Yahweh, Hashem, Yashai, Hashem, Raka, Kadash, and Shalom. I hope you are edified, man, to the next thing.